week we're back in Namibia with Damaro Dick Dick Safaris. This is one of my favorite hunts that we do and the Lopez family puts together an outstanding operation and we cannot wait to get back in the blinds. We arrived at camp and had lunch and caught up with Julio and the family. Now we're just getting our bows unpacked. We're gonna do a little bit of shooting, go out for a drive tonight, and then we'll start hunting tomorrow. After catching up with the Lopez family and getting all settled in, it was time to hit the hay and get in the blinds first thing in the morning. I'm the Jesse! We miss you so much! We thought you were missing. We thought the, the hyenas got you. Well, the water hole started filling up with Gem's buck, and there was a really old bull in this group that Julio wanted taken out. And since I had already shot one last year, he asked Austin if he was interested in shooting it, and of course he couldn't say no. Julio gave me the opportunity to shoot a nice call as Gem's buck last year, and another one has came in this year, so he asked me if I want to shoot another one for me to give to all the people that work here in the orphanage later in the week when we go there. So if he comes into the water hole, I'm gonna try to get a good shot with the PSC and let the rain kind of fly again. Stay tuned, Big Boys TV will be right back. This segment brought to you by Marathon, fueling the American spirit. Welcome back. When we left, Austin was full draw on a Gems buck. Now let's see what happens. He went 20 yards. PSC Prophecy and the Ramcat really did the job there. Hit him perfect and he went down within 20 seconds. Perfect shot with the Ramcat. He went maybe 20 yards from where I shot him and expired right here. Beautiful old Gims buck. He's just a little bit shorter on the one side, but he's a really good one. He's really old. He's gonna get a lot of meat to take to the orphanage and for us at the camp and for everybody else that works here. Thanks, Julio. That was awesome. You're welcome. Awesome show. Another great day at the Maradictic Safaris. It's only our second day. We have a lot more animals to kill, so we're gonna get him out of here and get back in the blind so Jada can get her zebra. I'm still here, even though I've been doing the majority of hunting today. But that's okay. Um, we got this blue wildebeest coming in for Austin, and uh, it's always cool to give him a chance to shoot some stuff. So I'm gonna be filming, and uh, hopefully he makes a good shot. Everything's kind of there's an impala running around that's rutting like crazy, and he's kind of spooking everything when he takes off running, but. Hopefully this blue wildebeest works its way into the water and I can get a good shot and let the ram cat fly. So this blue wildebeest comes in and Austin has a little problem. 
He has to pee and it just cannot wait. So we have this wildebeest at the water hole, Austin in the corner peeing, and then we have Julio sitting next to me, patiently waiting for Austin to be done so he could make a shot at this wildebeest. So Austin finishes, and luckily this blue wildebeest is still at the water, so he grabs his PSE and pulls back. again. The ram cat cut him real good. I mean there was blood everywhere. Clear pass through again. Another perfect shot on a blue wildebeest. One of the animals I've really wanted. Every I, This is my fourth time coming to Africa and I've really wanted a blue wildebeest. And Julio has given me the chance to take one and thank you Julio. That was awesome. That was so cool. Smoked him again. He's only, he maybe ran about 80 yards. Fell down. But he was just pumping blood. That ram cat just really hit him hard. Awesome old bull, huge bosses on him. Hit him dead perfect. This is the exit side. The Ramcats do an amazing job. PSE is shooting extremely straight today. And it's working great. I want to thank Julio at Demar Dictic Safaris, Jada, Kevin, for giving me this opportunity to come shoot these awesome animals. That's my second one today. It's our second day here in Africa. The adventure has just begun. Well, so far, Austin's having a pretty good day. It's always cool when he can come from behind the camera and actually be able to kill some animals of his own. But don't go anywhere. Big Boys TV will be right back. And now it's my dad and I's turn to start killing some animals. This segment brought to you by Hunter Safety Systems. It gets you home safe every time. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we are in Namibia with Damara Dictic Safaris, and Austin was able to harvest two animals, and now it's my turn to go after the zebra I've really been looking forward to. The zebra is one of the hardest animals to kill because usually when they come to the water, they don't come for very long. Their senses are incredible. And when they do come to the water, they usually line up in a group. And so you're not able to take that clear shot. There is your zebra. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Is that coming? What? There's a cut coming? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. The whole group comes in and gets right in the water and there's one old stallion that's with the group and I'm just waiting for him to step away from the group so I can take a clear good shot. Oh my gosh, we've been 
trying to go after these zebras for the past couple days and they just haven't given me a shot and this group came in and the stallion gave me a shot and I took it and oh my gosh I, my ram cat definitely did its job I can see it down oh my gosh that was amazing that's the one thing I came to Africa wanting this year so bad was a zebra and I finally got one. Oh my gosh that's amazing yeah. that's amazing Phenomenal shot. <sighs> that was awesome. Just got my zebra all set up. We're gonna take some pictures. Well, I was finally able to get my zebra. This was an animal that I had really wanted ever since we started discussing going to Africa. So I just felt so blessed that I was able to get one of these beautiful animals on the ground. Now it's my dad's turn. Let's see how his luck is going. Well, the wind was starting to swirl at that other blind that we were at. We had some gimswacks coming, but uh, it spooked him when the wind swirled. So we thought we'd better get out of there. So we moved to a different blind where the wind direction is much better. Now we're just waiting for a zebra or a uh, black wildebeest. We're hoping that uh, it works out here. This is called a warthog line, so if we could take a warthog too, that would be great. We'll have to see what happens now. Not long after they got into that blind, they had a nice black wildebeest coming in. This is our fourth day, and we've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and being patient, and uh, kind of going crazy sitting in these blinds, but finally it happened. He came in, and he went to the, the water, and then he went right to the salt, and, uh, and he was just over here. This is the best way for us to get a, a good idea of how big they are, whether they need to be shot or not, because any other way, and we can't judge the animals, but Fernando gave me the thumbs up and when he did that, I smoked him with my full throttle and I'll tell you what, that ram cat as you just saw, I mean it's so effective, I mean he's gonna went nowhere. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go find this animal. It's about dark out, we're getting there. So we decided to go see where it's at. We know it didn't go far based on the blood. Let's just go. Finally, after three days, my dad made it on the board with a beautiful black wildebeest. We got some more hunting coming up. Big Boys TV, we'll be right back. This segment is brought to you by Whitetail Institute. Research equals results. Welcome back. We're having a great time at Damara Dick Dick Safaris. We've got four animals on the ground so far and we're not done hunting. Well, we're just about to head out to the blind again this morning. Yesterday I was able to shoot a zebra and now I'm going after a bliss buck. We're gonna go sit where my dad's been sitting where they've been seeing lots of bliss bucks. So hopefully it's another good day here at Damara Dick Dick Safaris. Well, to make a long story short, we sat in the blind all day and not a single bliss buck gave me the right shot. We saw lots of animals, but just not the animal that I'm looking for. As it started to get dark, we had a call spring buck come in and Julio asked Austin once again if he wanted to take it. And of course, Austin said yes.
It's our fourth night here in Namibia. It was, it was pretty slow. We had some bush buck coming for Jada, but they just didn't didn't give her a shot and they moved off. So we sat here all day. And then finally tonight we had two spring buck come in and one was an old, old spring buck that Julia wanted me to take. So I took a shot and I hit him in front of the shoulder, just where Julia told me to shoot him because it was a good shot. And he ran maybe another 50 yards. The ram cat cut right through him again. PSC hit him perfect. Let's go find him. Itch. This is my first spring buck. It's actually like my third animal this trip. I'm supposed to be filming, but I seem to be doing more killing for some reason. Oh, as always, thank you, Julio. That was insanely cool. And Jada, Kevin, thank you again for letting me come here and film your guys' adventure and get these animals on the ground. It's awesome. Another great kill for Austin. Now we're going to go straight into the next day where I was after a red heart beast. We decided to come out a little early this morning because we're going to the coast this afternoon and we're also going to be going to the orphanage later this morning. So we decided to get up early and head out and see if we couldn't get a chance on some bliss buck while we were coming in. There are some red hearted beast. My dad's with us too, so hopefully we have a good morning. So we weren't sitting for very long and we had a jacko come in, so my dad got ready for the shot. things because they eat all the little animals when they're born and so he likes to thin them out just like we hunt coyotes back home. And he smoked it. So we're off to a pretty good start this morning and not long after we had some red heart of east coming in. After a quick drink at the water hole, he presented me with a shot. Well, my shot was a little high, so we gave him some time and not long after he went down. It's been a long morning and we're heading out with a jackal and a red hearted beast and now we're going to head over to the orphanage where we're going to be donating some of the meat and we also brought some toys and stuff for the kids so we're really looking forward to going over there and seeing all the kids and doing what we can for them. There's really nothing better than being able to help out these kids at the orphanage. They don't really have much, so just a little toy and all this meat means the absolute world to them, and we just enjoy so much seeing the smiles on their faces when we show up. Well, that's all the time we have this week. To see part two of our hunt at Damara Dick Dick Safaris, tune in next week on Big Boys TV. It's our third day here at... <coughs> That took a little bit more time. Uh, we're gonna try to get out there. There was animals already at the watering hole. 
I know everybody thinks my bloopers are funny, but they're very frustrating. <laughs>